this lesson, you are expected to 1. Explain how movements along faults generate earthquakes through models and illustrations. 2. Distinguish the epicenter of an earthquake from its focus, intensity of an earthquake from its magnitude. 3. Be cautious and ensure the safety by doing the necessary things to do during earthquakes. understanding of the occurrence of earthquakes. It has three main important parts. The focus or hypocenter, the epicenter, and the fault. One, focus or hypocenter is where the earthquake begins. It is located underground. Two, epicenter, point on the ground directly above the focus. It is where the earthquake vibrations reach first, and the most violent shaking occurs here. 3. Fall, a weak point or geologic fracture on the tectonic plate, where pressure within the crust is being released. How strong is the earthquake? An earthquake may be described in two ways, intensity and magnitude. The intensity of an earthquake gives us an idea of how strong or weak the shaking is, or simply by describing the effects of earthquake on people or surroundings. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology or PVOX uses the PEIS or PVOX Earthquake Intensity Scale to describe the intensity of earthquakes in the Philippines. While magnitude is the measure of the energy released, the higher the magnitude, the stronger the earthquake. Okay, MIS student, let's see if you understand what we've discussed today. Let's try this. You are going to match the richer magnitude indicated in column A with the earthquake effect found in column B. Now let's try another one. Apply your English skills in answering this next learning task. This learning task is entitled, Select the Synonyms. Written on the trees are words that describe earthquakes. Match the words with their synonyms by writing them on the blank ribbons in the sky. Students, 
Based on our discussion, we can say that earthquakes are disastrous. So, we must always be cautious to ensure our safety if ever we're caught in one. I have here this to-do or not-to-do activity sheet. I want you to mark the part of the post-it with a heart on what are the things you must do and not to do during earthquake. students, hope that you will apply what you have learned about earthquakes and how it starts. Thank you for your participation. Stay safe and God bless. Till next time.